So Google's recent rocky road to recovery for the Pixel series, in particular the 6 and the 6 Pro, since the launch of Android 12 is thoroughly, thoroughly underway. The April 2022 patch itself includes a number of fixes and tweaks, but has everything been resolved? Well, let's find out. Thanks for watching 9to5Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. We want to iron out a few misconceptions first, or maybe even a little bit of misinformation out there. There are no major new features added with this OTA, but you might actually spot a few things that have rolled out coincidentally at the same time. So as we mentioned, it's kind of a coincidence that people are seeing these at the same time as the April patch, which has started arriving on eligible Pixel devices. So first up, Google has updated the curated culture section of the Wallpapers app with three new Earth Day images, which isn't actually until April 22nd. The illustrations come from Josephine Shargogorsky, and I apologize profusely for absolutely annihilating the pronunciation there. These wallpapers are available on Pixel 3 through to the 6 Pro. Another tweak that was announced with the March Pixel feature drop previously is the addition of safety check and earthquake alert warnings in the at a glance widget. Safety check has started rolling out, so you might see that on your device even as you're updating with the April OTA. Again, it is just a coincidence and it's related to the app updates rather than the patch itself. Another feature that people might start seeing as well and not related to the April patch again is the Google Lens power translation option in the screenshot menu, particularly when you're doing scrolling screenshots. And this is actually available on devices running older patches like my Pixel 5, which you see on screen now with the February 2022 patch. It's neat, but again, completely not related to the April security patch for Pixel devices. The final, in air quotes, new thing is an updated dialer for the Google Phone app. You might see rounded keys here, and I'm personally not actually seeing this on any of my Pixel devices, including the Pixel 6 Pro, which are all running the April patch, save the Pixel 5, which I mentioned. This is part of an app update yet again, and has nothing to do with the April patch. The only thing we can say here is that update your apps via the Google Play Store and you might get a few of these options, but most will come to your device over the coming days and weeks as these things will roll out. So don't worry if you have downloaded the April patch and you're not seeing some features or features that people are claiming that they have received. They're completely not related. They all just seem to have arrived at the same time or have started arriving on devices at around the same time that this patch was made available for eligible Pixel 3 through to the Pixel 6 Pro. So that's some minor misinformation out of the way. Hopefully you've got a better grasp of what's coming and what isn't. Let's discuss what the April 2022 patch fixes because there are still complaints, particularly from Pixel 6 and 6 Pro owners, and a specific number of things have been addressed for those two devices here. The major issues that have been addressed in this patch for the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, firstly, there's the wireless charging improvements for certain accessories. Sadly though, Google has not specified which wireless accessories. It could be the Pixel Stand, the first gen, or even the second gen Pixel Stand, or even just other wireless accessories out there. We haven't seen any major improvements or anything that's notable, so let us know down below if you've seen any wireless charging improvements, because it is tough to accurately tell depending on what accessories you have to hand. And not to mention, there is also some improvements for supposed battery drain that we have heard complaints about, but the next patch could potentially offer some more fixes for that. Again, this is all placebo, it's difficult to really tell, but let us know down below if you've seen any battery improvements. The camera has also received some attention, specifically the selfie camera when using third-party applications. It shouldn't be quite as zoomed in or cropped in as before, and I personally saw this sometimes on Google Duo, but I'm actually not sure if it's to do with the patch or an update to Duo, but it seems to have been fixed. The changelog also notes some fixes for occasional green screens appearing in camera previews. I've personally not encountered that with my own devices, but hopefully there'll be no more issues for people out there with the Pixel 6 and the 6 Pro with regard to those weird camera green previews. Everything else in the changelog though is aimed at devices running Android 12, and that includes the Pixel 3 through to the Pixel 6 Pro. In particular, there is a lot of user interface and experience tweaks so there are some UI fixes for things such as the picture in picture mode. It now shouldn't crash or cause other apps to crash when you're using that or if you happen to dismiss a video. Uh, when setting a live wallpaper, there also should be no weird warning messages 
and annoying invisible notification shade when you've actually changed the wallpaper that should be fixed here too it wasn't so much uh trans invisible though as it was transparent but it was a weird bug and it seems to have been completely resolved if you do use the app draw search pane which was added in android 12 when cancelling or closing um, this actual search pane itself the animation should be smoother with no random or kind of broken animations or transitions when you do cancel this there's also a fix out there for those using talkback which sometimes would affect or prevent navigation within areas such as the recent app section that should now be fixed as we could imagine that could be quite annoying if you're using that accessibility tool and on top of that there is a fix for the recents button sometimes actually not working correctly when using the three button nav bar with third party launchers things such as launcher and and the like and nova and all that kind of thing but that should be resolved here too so that's kind of everything that's been added and fixed so it's nowhere near the same level as a january march patches but at least it's available for all devices simultaneously the pixel 6 and 6 pro are not left behind this time the patch is rolling out for every single pixel device or eligible pixel right at the same time which is a very very good look for google who have had some delayed updates for a few months now one big omission though is the lack of a patch for the dirty pipe exploit funny name aside though this could actually mean that anyone potentially attacking your device can quickly get root access on both the pixel 6 and including some samsung galaxy devices like the recently released s22 we're almost certain that a fix will come with the may patch but for now our advice is to only install apps or apks from repositories that you do trust at least at this stage there is no malware malware that we know of that can actually utilize this exploit but it's certainly something to be aware of and it's not just pixel devices that are affected as we mentioned some galaxy s series smartphones are vulnerable to this this exploit as well so stay safe avoid unknown installations at least until it's patched which we believe will be in the may update which will be likely four weeks from yesterday or would that be today so hopefully that clears up just what the april 2022 patch does bring to pixel devices and what it doesn't uh, we want to know does has this kind of resolved any issues that you were seeing or lingering problems that you're experiencing let us know down in the comment sections below this is more just a psa than anything but hopefully you've learned a little something and if you've enjoyed it leave a like down below if you also want to speed up the update process rather than downloading and waiting for your app to optimize through the normal ota process you can sideload this update on your own pixel and be sure to check out our full guide and full video guide taking you through that process step by step you will find a link to that down in the description below but until next time this is damien with 95 google saying thanks for watching and i will speak to you later